WAPO reporter caught at secretive agenda event with liberal billionaire George Soros. This is the reason President Donald Trump calls the mainstream media fake news. Jane L. Ross, reporter for The Washington Post, the same newspaper that broke the story of Republican Senate nominee Roy Moore allegedly having relationships with teenagers decades ago, was a speaker at a secretive get-together to plan the future of the progressive agenda, The Washington Free Beacon reported. The gathering, hosted by the Democracy Alliance, was attended by major progressive politicians, activists and donors, including one of the group's billionaire founders George Soros. The group had gone to great measures to keep the identity of attendees under wraps, but the Free Beacon claimed it was able to obtain a detailed agenda including featured guests, and reported Ross was there to lecture on the topic of getting the economic narrative right. If there's anything the liberal media knows a lot about, it's how to push a narrative. The Democracy Alliance calls itself the largest network of donors dedicated to building the progressive movement in the United States and says it plays a leading role in fostering the infrastructure necessary to advance a progressive agenda. Soros. Image, AP. Ross, who attended the event without notifying her superiors that she would be attending covered the 2016 presidential election for the Post and continues to cover the current administration. In this panel discussion, developed by the DA's Inclusive Economy Fund, we pose some fundamental questions, including, what do progressives stand for? How do we grapple with the tough issues? What story are we trying to tell and how does it play out in communities across the country? How do we translate what the polls and research tell us into the compelling narratives that will build the public will to reorient our economy and combat inequality? The agenda read. Progressives were knocked flat in 2016, but in our scramble to understand and react to what happened, we run the risk of forcing ourselves into false divides, it read. We risk losing focus on the deep systemic flaws in our economic and social frameworks that leave vast numbers of Americans vulnerable and insecure. Image, screenshot. We've only now learned about her participation in this event, a spokesman for the Post told The Beacon. The Washington Post policy discourages participation in any activity that could be perceived as partisan, he said. She has been reminded of that. Our understanding is that she was there solely to discuss the subject of a book she is writing independently on economic inequality, he said. Not everyone believes her attendance at the meeting was as innocent as the Post tried to portray. Someone should introduce reporter Jean L. Ross and her boss Marty Barron to the Society of Professional Journalists' Code of Ethics. It appears they haven't read it, or any other text on journalistic ethics. Funny. The movie Spotlight portrays Barron as a big advocate of legitimate journalism, Media Research Center Vice President Dan Gaynor told Fox News. Can't wait for the sequel that shows the Post for what it really is, the research and reporting arm of the left. Ross' partisan bent is evidenced on her archive page that shows she focuses on progressive issues like race and gender and has compared the president to O.J. Simpson. The WAPO reporter who formerly worked for the progressive Huffington Post and been a guest on Democrat talk show The Young Turks, declined numerous requests to comment from the Beacon. Social media users, like conservative actor James Woods, were not surprised. 